Welcome again to Lifestyles of the Strange and Exotic. Goodwill Hall 2. I like their shopping. Period. You can find some kooky stuff, and like I said, it's a good place to source material and things like that. So I'm always, you know, on the hunt for whatever's interesting to get. The top I'm wearing, I got at the Goodwill. That was, this actually was 50% off, and I wasn't looking for it. It's an Angora sweater. I call it my rain tank sweater, my gorilla sweater, because it looks like a gorilla suit. <laughs> but it's off in Lombardy. They had a white one. And I'm like, well, I don't know. Do they hurt the bunnies? I don't know, because it's a hair and not a pelt. I mean, that's why I'm like, well, I didn't get the white one, because I really wanted the white one. I'm like, well, if they hurt the bunnies, I don't know. But then I was told that, no, it's a hair, not a pelt, so, you know, they comb them and, you know, basically don't murder the sheep to get the wool. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll get this. And it just happened to be the 50 cent one. I'm like, awesome. So I'm like, when a, the next week or a few days later, and they had a red one, which I think I might have shown in that last video. I don't know. I might have gotten it before that, which is like a little fancier. It's not as bunny as this one, but that was half off. So I wasn't planning to get them cheaper, but it was great that they were. But this week, I got a few odds and ends. Now, one of the things I got were these lounge pants, and originally I was thinking of actually using them for material. They're a Halloween pant that has that, if anybody remembers Pepe Le Pew, the cat that he was always after, I don't know if she ever had a name, but that's the kitty that's on this pair of pants, and then there's a, kind of looks like a birdcage and a fence, but it's like a fence with the extra piece there. Some bats and some trees and the tree and the moon and it goes a little superstitious. And I just thought they were cute and I'm like, you know, hey, if they fit, I'll be wearing them. They fit, so I wear them. By the way, they're actually four inches too short. So what they would be on a normal person, I don't know. Maybe they're like below the knee for most people. <laughs> but to me, they're like capris because capris on me actually get to the ankle. They just look like kind of short pants. But they're good because pants are usually four inches too long and I trip over them and it's just not safe. So I thought they were kind of cool. Now the next thing I got was this. It is a red denim jacket. And it looks almost brand new. So I don't know if this was hardly ever worn or what. But this was 50 cents. And it was red, which is my second favorite color, which I usually like mixing the red and the black. And it fit. But I don't know what petite large means. I mean, if it's large, what part of it's supposed to be petite? But it fits, and it's not insanely long on my arms, which maybe that's what that means. Because I like denim jackets that are different. Does anybody actually wear a regular denim jacket anymore? I did get a regular boring denim jacket at the same Goodwill that I was planning to put like bats and stuff on. I just haven't gotten to Gothify it yet. Because just a plain boring jacket just is a plain boring jacket. Usually I throw it on because I, you know, if I go walking I need something with pockets. Because every time I want a pocket I never seem to have them. So I figure, well, that's got the little pockets for the iPod and the phone and whatever else. So I throw that on as more of <laughs> a full body backpack kind of thing. Now the next thing I got this time was this. Now... This is similar to the one I showed you in the last haul that had like the black on it that might be the outside of a purse. I got this to use for material. I personally don't like wearing silky stuff because no matter how hot it is, you always end up freezing in them. But I got this and this will most likely be an outside of another coffin purse because I might be able to get enough material there. And this is a Kathy Lee. And that woman scares me. I, ju I just don't like that woman. I don't know. But that's this. And the next thing I got I had hoped I could fit into. <laughs> but these must have been the half off tag because these are only two bucks. So I'm debating whether I should keep them or return them. 
I love these type of pants with the silver zippers, the black pants and the silver zippers. I think I might own a pair of two that sort of kind of maybe fits. This I just can't get over my butt, so they're a size 11, but I don't know. They're Dickies, and I don't know if Dickies makes female pants, so I'm thinking maybe they're like a boy's pant. I don't know. But I love these things, unless they're for like an anorexic female. I have no idea. But I can't get my bigger booty in here. So maybe I, I might, I should probably just bring them back and, you know, not delude myself into thinking that I will ever fit in these because I'm pretty damn sure I won't. So I'll bring them back and maybe somebody with my same aesthetic will enjoy them. Get my two bucks of, they don't give you your money back, they get, give you store credit, which for me is like fine because I'll be spending it right then anyway. So these will probably be returned to the Goodwill. So if you're in my nearby Goodwill, you can have them back. And the last item on the list is this little case. Now, I wanted something bigger than what I had for when I bring my laptop and stuff to craft day, or any place else for that matter. And I carry a card reader because that particular camera refuses to accept SD cards, even though it has a card reader in it. It's like, I don't like this thing. But it'll accept this particular card reader. And usually my um, thumb drives and some headphones and other odds and ends, maybe depending on what I'm doing that particular day. And I was just sort of overfilling the one I had. Now this is for the Nintendo DS. And it's a switch and carry. Not being a youngin, I have no idea what this means. The only Nintendo product that I ever actually owned, well, as far as like the portable stuff is concerned, is the second generation Game Boy. This is the pre-color Game Boy, mind you. Not when they first came out. It's They've been out for a while, and I think the color had been just introduced, but I still ended up with the not quite black and white. So that's how far back I go. The only thing I got was the Game Boy. In the Game Boy games, Tetris, awesome. Tell me who is not addicted to that Tetris. Any version. But the original Tetris, just something special about that music, you know, you just have to like assemble things when you hear the Tetris music. And Metroid 2, for the original Game Boy, made it all the way through, beginning to end, without cheats, the bomb. I was so proud of myself. And I can do the screw attack, the spin ball, in most of the actual, like the wall jump, I think is in 2 on the Game Boy, but I can't do it in Metroid 3 to save my life. Metroid 3, still one of the best Metroids ever. Note here, <laughs> I have my sister's SNES, which I think she put a spell on. Made it all the way up to Ripley. Nine hours worth of gameplay. There's a glitch in the unit itself. Put the card in, turned it on, wiped everything. If you heard this, no, that would have been me. So yeah, I haven't played it since because I'm still like, Meh. The new Metroids though are pretty good. I, I do like the new Metroids, but the ones for the Wii are kind of, the game is good. It's just complicated because you have to move it this way to do this thing, move it this way to do this, like too many moving parts. I just want to shoot things, you know, <laughs> but love Metroid. Awesome. But that's what I got this for. And that's where the, I guess, the little Game Boy unit goes. Um, it's got a couple of pockets, zipper. I guess you can hang it on your belt. So that's my, so that's my final item on my Goodwill haul for this particular week. Some weeks you can go in and you come out with half the store. Sometimes you go in and you're like, there's nothing in my hands. Something's wrong. So <laughs> whether this will be a weekly thing, I don't know, but. Stay tuned for more.